Assalamu alaikum. My dear students, hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIBS Home School. This is Muhammad Imdadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Day Shift. Dear students, today I am here to conduct a math class of class 2. This is the fourth class of annual term examination. Our today's topic is short question. Our today's topic is fill in the blanks part 1. In this part, I will solve 13 fill in the blanks. Okay, dear students, start. Let us start our class. Our first question 153 plus 27. We have to add 153 and 27. Dear students, this is very simple question. If we add this 3 and 7, at first we have to add, we have to start from one's place. This is ones, this is tens, and this is hundred. If we add three and seven at first, three and seven will be ten. We have to write zero as zero is in one's place. One remaining here. Now we have to add five and two. If we add five and two, this will be seven. Then we have to add one with seven. So this will be eight. And there is no digit here. So we have to write one. So our answer is 180. So answer first question is 180. Then second question, 365 is dash less than 400. It means that 365 is how much less than 400. To get the required number, we have to subtract 365 from 400. So write 400 and subtract 365. Now here is 0. So we can't subtract 5 from 0. As we can't subtract, so we have to consider 1 in the left side of 0. Now this will be 10. So this will be 10. Now if we subtract 5 from 10, this will be 5. So we can write here 5. As I have taken 1, in one's place, we have to give it with 6. So this will be 7. Now we have to subtract 7 from 0. But it's not possible to subtract 7 from 0. So we have to consider again 1 in left side of 0. This will be 10. And we have to subtract 7. Now if we subtract 7 from 10, this will be 3. So we can write here 3. Now as I have taken here 1, so we have to give that one with 3. So 3 will be 4. If we subtract 4 from 4, this will be 0. So no need to write 0 in left side. So our required answer for question 2 is 35. It means that if we subtract 365 from 400, the number will be 35. It means that 365 is 35 less than 400. Now, Question 3, 40 tens plus 20 ones. Dear students, you know, 40 tens means 400. 40 tens means 400. 40 tens. So we have to multiply this by 10. This will be 400. 20 ones means we have to multiply 20 by 1. This will be 20. Now, we have to add as addition sign here. So we have to add these two number. If we add 0 and 0, we will get 0. If we add 0 and 2, we will get 2. If we add 4, here is nothing. So here will be 4. Our sum will be 420. This is our required answer for question 3. Now question 4. 40 tens plus 6 tens. 40 tens plus 6 tens. The students, 40 tens means 400. 40 tens means 400 and again 6 tens. So we have to multiply 6 by 10, we will get 60. Now if we add, we will get 0 and 0 will be 0, 6 and 0 will be 6. 4 and here is no digit, so we have to write 4. So this will be 460. 
460. Question 3 and 4 are similar question. Dear students, I hope you have understood these two questions. Now question 5. Insert sign greater than, smaller than or equal. Greater than, smaller than or equal. <coughs> Dear students, to insert the sign, we need to compare these two numbers. We need to compare these two numbers. So, indicate the position of the digits of the number. 1 stands 100. 1 stands 100. Here, at first we will comp compare hundreds place. Here hundreds place is same. So, we can't say which number is greater and which one is smaller. Okay. So, we have to compare now tens place. Here tens place is 4 in the first number and tens place is 3 in the second number. As 4 is greater than 3. So, we can say these two numbers, if we compare, first number will be greater. So, we can put the sign greater than here. So, greater sign will be in the blank. Now, next question, question 6. What comes just before 800? What comes just before 800? It means that we need the number which comes before 800. Okay, dear students, try to understand here. I am writing some numbers here. 199, 200, 201. Here, before 200, there is a number that is 199. And after 200, there is a number 201. We will get the number which one is before. If we subtract just one, from the number, we will get the before number, 199. So, we will get the number which is in the after, when we will add with that number. When we will add one, we will get the next number. It means the number just after, this is 201. It means that if the question is the number just before, so we have to subtract one from that number. So, if we subtract one, from 800, we will get 799. So, required answer for this question 6 is 799. Now, question 7, subtract the smallest 3 digit number from the greatest 3 digit number. Dear students, you know the greatest 3 digit number is 999. It means 999 and the smallest 3 digit number is 100. So, if we subtract, we will get our required result. If we subtract, we will get our required result. So, subtract 0 from 9, we will get 9. Subtract 0 from 9, we will get 9. And subtract 1 from 9, we will get 8. It will be 899. So, the answer of the question 7 is 899. 899. Now, the question 8. How many tens are there in 520? How many tens are there in 520? To get the required answer, divide 520 by 10. Divide 520 by 10. 5 times 50. Take 5 times, it will be 50. Now, subtract, you will get 2. Now, take the next digit here. Now, take 2 times, you will get 20. So, our required answer for this question is 52. So, we can say how many tens are there in 520? There are 52 tens. There are 52 tens. Now, question 9. One book costs taka 4. How much will co 4 books cost? It means that the cost of four books will be four times of the cost of one books. It means that we have to multiply the cost of one book is taka four. We have to multiply that by four to get the cost of four books. If we multiply this by four, we will get 16. Four fours are 16. It means taka 16 will be our required answer. Cost of four books will be taka 16. Now, question 10. We have to subtract 0 from 
156. If we subtract 0 or if we add 0 with any number, the answer will be that number. Remember the students. So, if we subtract 0 from 6, we will get 6. Now, here is 5, here is 1. So, answer will be that number. So, if we subtract 0 from any number, we will get the first number as answer. Okay. Now, question 11, place value of 7 in 768. Write the number 768 here. 768. Here, 8 is in ones place, 6 is in tens place, 7 is in hundreds place. As 7 is in hundreds place, so if we multiply 7 by 100, we will get the place value of 7. So, the place value of 7 in this number is 700. 700. Now, question 12, insert sign greater than, smaller than or equal. Here, 6 tens, we have to put the sign in the blank and here is 65. It means that at first we have to compare these two. To compare these two, we have to know what is the number 6 tens. 6 tens means 6 multiplied by tens, it will be 60. And the another number is 65. So, if we compare these two numbers, here tens place is same. So, we have to compare ones place. As ones place, first number of ones place is smaller. So, we have to put the smaller than sign in the answer. Now, question 13. How many 20 paisa coins are there in Taka 4? How many 20 paisa coins are there in Taka 4? At first, we have to know. 4 taka is equal to how many paisa? The students, you know, 1 taka, taka 1 equal to 100 paisa. So, 4 taka will be 400 paisa. As we have to know how many coins of 20 paisa, so we have to divide 400 by 20 to get the answer. Now, divide 400 by 20. 2 times of 20 will be 40. Now, zero. if we subtract, we will get 0. So, no need to write. Take the next digit, 0. Now, 0 times 20 equal to 0. So, we can say 20 coins. We can say 20 coins. How many 20 paisa coins are there in Taka 4? It means that 20 coins. Dear students, I hope all of you have understood our today's topic. These questions are given as your HW, this is HW3, HW3, draw this HW in your assigned HW copy, fill in the blanks. Part 1. This is your HW. Do this in your assigned HW copy. Submit your HW in the next Sunday in the school library and collect your previous HW from the school library on that day. Keep practicing at home. Avoid by your parents. Stay home. Stay safe. See you again. Inshallah. Allah Hafiz.